Hi everyone! For this video, I'm going to share with you the materials that we are going to use for this school year para sa aming kinder student. Hi there! I'm Kat. I'm a homeschool mom of three kids here in the Philippines. And in this channel, we share our homeschool journey, the materials that we use, and of course, the realities of homeschooling. So, kung gusto niyo pa po makapanood ng mga videos related to homeschooling and parenting in general, please hit the subscribe button below and the bell para ma-notify kayo naman new videos namin. Okay, so ngayon, meron na kaming official, two official students na naka-enroll under the DepEd uh, system. Uh, both students are enrolled under a homeschool provider. Ang um, aming homeschool provider is Peniel Integrated Christian Academy of Rizal. And it's our fifth year in uh, with Peniel kasi nag-start yung son ko, yung panganay ko. Uh, kay Peniel nung kinder siya uh, way back in 2016. Yan. So ngayon naman, ang kanyang kapatid, ang um, kinder, si Ate Z. And ito, itong mga materials ito na ikita ninyo, yan. Sa table na yan. These are the materials that we are going to use to help us teach her this school year. And I'd like to share them with you kung saan ko sila nakuha. Uh, para magkaroon kayo na idea kung uh, ano pa yung mga materials na pwede niyong isama sa inyong homeschool library. Let me start first with the textbooks that I got from the homeschool provider. So, um... Meron akong kinuhang five textbooks from them. Nung una, nagdadalawang isip pa ako. Nakukuha pa ba ako ng textbooks? Kasi may mga materials naman ako from uh, the years na nag-homeschool kami. So, pwede ko naman gamitin yung iba. Pero, since we will be using rin naman, most likely, the quarter exams from the provider, might as well get the textbooks para may guide ako from the syllabus. So, for um, language arts, meron siyang dalawang textbook. These are the uh, language and reading and phonics textbooks from Abiva for Filipino this is from Don Bosco naman so science textbook ito Ayan, let me just show you what's inside okay naman yung books okay naman yung paper colorful naman for the kid enjoy naman niya yan yung Filipino natuwa ako eh itong huwinta kasi Ayan na, meron siyang mga, uh, I don't know if you can see, may mga guide siya sa baba, ay dito, para sa mga magulang, or para sa teacher, I guess, ayan o, oh, tulad dito, oh. sabayan ng kilos at rate mo, meron siyang ano, um, tips, ayan, <laughs> Bigyan, meron siyang mga tips din sa baba ng part ng book, and then this is for math, I think this is under C. Yeah, this is from under C and E Publishing. Here, ito naman yung loob niya. Yun. Kaya tadi sa talaga colorful ng textbook kasi dun mas na engage yung bata. Eh. Ito na yung mga maliliit. So nila yan mga very colorful textbooks. So for these five books that I got from the provider, I paid two thousand plus. I'm not sure kung ano ano exact amount na binayaran ako. I think two thousand. 500 or 2,400 something. Uh, sorry, I forgot. But around that range, less than 3,000 billion. And then for writing, I have a pre-love that I gave to Mommy SJ. Thank you, Mommy SJ. I just got my name because of Jenny. So, ito, uh, I'm going to use this as a basis for um, writing exercises. Because it's good. Uh, if you can see here, I am on. Hindi lang siya yung magsusulat na magsusulat lang ng letters. Kasi ito, meron talaga activity. Merong cutting, may pacing. Yan o. Uh, Pre-lab na ito kaya meron ng ibang mga activities na nagawa. Ito yung mga ng anak ko. <laughs> Yan, naglagay sila ng, I think this was two weeks ago. Naglagay sila ng colored paper. So, just for the orientation, tinuturuan ng libro yung paano from left to right up, down, bago yung pagsusulat talaga ng letters. Kaya gusto ko to. Gusto ko tong book na to. Ayan. So, we will be using this for writing. And then, for language arts, uh, yes, meron pa rin ako sing, spell, read, and write. So, gagamitin pa rin namin ito. So, part ng sing, spell, read, and write, itong teacher's manual, uh, 
two books to. Hindi ko alam kung saan shelf ko nilagay yung isa. It's somewhere there. Hindi ko lang mahanap kasi ang hirap mag-move uh, move ng books. So, ayan. Ito, gagamitin ko yan. Kasama nito ay ang mga charts. Teka lang. Wait. So, yung mga charts ko nandito na sa lalagyan. Ayan. Hindi kasi talaga nakalagay yung mga charts ko sa wall kasi wala naman kami homeschool room. Dito lang kami sa sala. So, ito yung charts sa same spell read and write. Isa sa mga charts na meron ako. Ayan. It's for the short E sound. And the E. Ayan. So, ito yung chart na gagamitin ko. So, lahat yung nakaroon na lang siya doon sa canister. And kasama rin yan would be some flashcards and uh, ito yung uh, storybooks and phonetic storybooks. And kasama to sa same spell read and write. And then this one. Kasama siya. Then sa chart. Ayan. So yan yung kasama to. Um, other books na gagabitin ko for teaching phonics would be ito, the Clifford Phonics Reading Program Pack 2. Ito, ginaw, nabili ko to sa Scholastic uh, Warehouse yun, sa May Pasig years ago. I think 2015 pa ata. Yan, 2016. Limutan ko na. Uh, ito naman, I got this I think 250 pesos ata to uh, pack na. I have a separate video for this. Uh, check it out. I'll leave the, a link in the description box na rin. Para makita niyo kung ano itsura nito at paano ito ginagamit itong Clifford Reading Program ng Phonics. And then, ano naman, available locally, you can use these. Ito, uh, nagamit ko ito kay Kuya V noong kin, uh, starting age 4. Kasi he started reading on his own at age 3. So, ito yung nagpa-boost sa kanya ng confidence on how to read and then practice na rin siya on how to read uh, phonetically. So, these are two series. Two series siya. So, you have the series 1 and series 2. So, bawat series merong 10 books. I have another video for this. I leave also a link sa description box kung paano ito ginagamit, anong itsura niya, and phonics and reading. So, 20 books lahat-lahat yan. Available to locally. Ito nabili ko sa Metro Department Store. Uh, ayan o. Oh, $54.75. Uh, nung nag Manila International Book Fair sa SMX, uh, nakita ko rin to na kasi dun sa booth ng Learning is Fun. Yan, meron siya nun. Sila yung ano eh, the official distributor nito. Yung WS Pacific Publications. Yan, so, uh, 20 books. Maganda siya. Uh, pang practice at pang turo kung paano magbasa phonetically. So, more for language arts. Uh, I will be using this sight words book. Ito naman I got from the recent Big Bad Wolf book sale. I think 100 pesos lang ata ang ko dito. Sa book na to. So you'll be using this. And uh, I have a few phon phonics based uh, books also for reading that they, my daughter can use. So this one, this is also from Scholastic. That I love reading phonics. It's phonetics. Ano siya? And my pronunciation guide, and my reading tips, and then this will help. Um, these stories are very short and mas madaling basahin para sa batang natututo lang, natututo pa lang magbasa. Yeah, so, naka-highlight pati yung mga sight words. So, I have this top dog, Kyle in Trouble. I have a kiss. Ito. And I think mayroon pa akong isa pang ganit. Alam ko, apat yung ganito ko. But I can't find it right now. But it's somewhere there sa shelf. Amen. Uh, these are the phonics library um, 
decodable text reading. So, ito naman. Ay, meron siyang theme ito. Family time. So, yan yung mga stories sa loob nung, nung book. Ito, nabili ko to sa books for less na warehouse sale. Books for less na warehouse sale. Ito. So, okay na siya pang read alouds and at the same time, pag medyo comfortable na yung anak ko na magbasa on her own, she can read this. Medyo mahaba na to for her level. Eventually, darating rin kami sa ganitong kahaba na stories na she can read. Ayan. So, ito kasi nakikita yun na level 2 na to. So, level 2 na siya. And then, the other one, and this is the level 1. Level 1. Ayan. So, mas mahaba pa yun. Yung mga sentences. Pero, kaya na i-decode ng bata. Tapos, siguro by grade 1 or the end of kinder. Tingnan natin kung paano mag-progress ng aking anak. And then, this one. Ayan. Pag gusto ko to, yung Osborne Phonics Readers. Uh, I think I have three or four stories of these na merong ano, ng Osborne. This came from Scholastic then. Scholastic Warehouse sale din. Ayan. Ito mas may kli and uh, kit niya. Oh. May kli yung mga sentences. So, mas madaling madecode ng bata para basahin sa mga early readers. Ayan. So, I have other stories for this. I forgot na kung ano ibang stories. Pero I have these. Kasi these have been with me for a years. For years na. Siguro at least three years na. Kaya, andyan lang yung sa shelf. Hanapin ko pa. Another for phonics. Ito naman, by Lady Bird. Uh, this was gifted to us. So, Nicole, kung saan ito nabibili. Pero most likely, if you go to um, mga thrift shops, like book sale, mga books for less, yan, makakikita mo rin yung mga ganitong ano, phonics books series na yan. Okay. Uh, ha? For math naman, here, we have this workbook. Yan, this is from... Uh, yeah, the Big Bad Wolf book sale. I got it for 100 pesos only. Uh, before, may nabili akong ganito. English naman, and for language arts, sa Miriam Webster na bookstore. Dito sa may area namin. Nag-close na yun eh. So, hindi ko alam kung available to sa National Bookstore or sa Expressions. Hindi ako sure. Pero before, nabakabili ako ng ganito sa... Miriam Webster na bookstore. 100 plus rin to eh. Sa locally no, nabili ko yung English version nito. 100 plus. Pero sa Big Bad Wolf book sale, 100 pesos na lang siya. You'll also be still using this. Ito naman, matagal ko na rin nabili to from the Big Bad Wolf book sale. Uh, I think 2 years ago or 3 years ago ba. I forgot. So this is 100 pesos. Um... This is a white clean activity book. So, pwede gamitan ng whiteboard markers. Ayan, may sulat pa na anak ko. Whiteboard markers para makapag-practice sila ng writing the numbers, the numerals, and counting as well. And then, another one from the Big Bad Wolf book sale. Ito naman, itong um, gold star starting to add workbook. Uh, we start. We started using this earlier. This morning. This morning pa lang na-try na namin siya. Ayan. So, meron na siyang star na nakuha. So, pag natapos na yung isang activity, katulad nito, nalagyan doon ng star. Kasi na sticker. Nalagyan ng star. Ayan. So, we just did uh, I think four pages. Ayan. Ito lang pala nagawa namin kanina, this morning. Um, di pa siguro muna kami dito kasi we are still or she is still learning how to write the numbers and how to count. So, we'll probably use this one kapag okay na siya from ng counting ng 1 to 20. Another book that we will be using this time naman, eto. <laughs> the Twinkler Girl Scout Handbook. Last year, naka-register siya for um, GSP, the Girl Scout of the Philippines as a Twinkler. Um, this year, syempre, hindi ko pa siya naka-register dahil sa pandemic. So, I don't know how we're going to register. 
So, titignan ko pa anong mga activities na pwede namin magawa dito. So, so far, ang activity namin dito is, uh, nagawa na namin is what to do kapag tumugtog ang um, new panghilirang, ano yung hand sign for a twinkler, twinkler scout. So, yun pa lang so far ang nagagawa namin na activity for this from from this book. So, I'll be exploring paano pa pwede kong magamit na activity dito sa handbook na ito. For various education naman, we will continue to read our Bears Time Bears series. So, meron akong at least 10 books of these na nandun sa shelf. So, ito, kukutinya namin basahin. Nabasa na namin before, pero hala, sige, basa lang. We're going to reread it again kasi maganda yung mga stories at maganda yung mga lessons na uh, nakapaloob sa mga stories itong series na to, itong Berenstain Bears. Aside from that, uh, we will also be using again the Joy Berry series. Ito, itong Help Me Be Good. Uh, ayan, so marami siyang klase. I think we have 15 books nito. I lost count already, pero so far, ito, ito yung ilan sa mga uh, stories na meron kami. Ayan, being forgetful, tatting, being bullied. Ayan, so, ito siya. Sana mag-focus. Ayan. So, ganyan karami yung mga stories. Uh, where to find these? Uh, yung mga unang, si unang books na nakuha ko are from the Books for Less Warehouse Sale. Ngayon, doon ko nakuha. And then, the rest of the collection naman, uh, pinama, ipinamana sa amin. Yan, ipinimana sa mga anak ko yung the rest ng books na meron kami. So, locally, makakakuha kayo doon sa Books for Less na warehouse. Or sa Books for Less. Tingnan nyo na lang, baka meron sila. For Christian Living, we'll be using the Bible Stories book. Uh, for some reason, hindi ko siya makita sa shelf. Baka nandun sa loob ng kwarto. Um, I'm tulog na mga kids kayo. Ayaw ka na makabother pa dun. So, yun na lang. So, isa yun yung mga Bible Stories na book na meron ka. Or, or Kitty Bible. And then, we will also be using this um, Osborne Bible Tales. So, isa to sa mga stories na meron kami. I, I think I have four of these. Uh, ito naman nabili ko sa ano pa rin, Scholastic Warehouse Seal. Yung ko pa rin siya nabili. Siguro ito mga five years old na itong libong ito sa amin. For stories naman, we have a lot of books talaga. And uh, I'm just gonna share with you some of these story books. So, ito. Meron kami mga Adarna. Adarna Storybooks. Uh, mas gusto kong yung Adarna books na meron in two languages, in English and Filipino. Kasi minsan-minsan hindi pa nila naintindihan. Although Filipino naman kami dito sa bahay, Tagalog naman ang, sinasal ang, ang main language namin dito sa bahay. Uh, meron kasi mga malalalim na salita sa Filipino na hindi pa nila naiintindihan. Pero mas naiintindihan na nila kapag na-translate sa English. Kaya, okay sa akin kapag um, two languages yun. So, meron kaming Adarn from Adarna House. And then, mer meron din kami from Anvil. Katulad nito, mga kwento ni Lola Basyang. Ito, nakuha ko to sa National Bookstore. Ayan, for 75 pesos. Gusto ko pang maka makakuha ng mas marami pang kwento ni Lola Basyang. So, siguro kapag nakalabas na ng ulit tayo kukuha ulit ako ng more books. Pero, uh, basically, yun. So, for, Fili for Filipino storybooks, ito ang meron kami from Adarna House. And then, for, ano naman, for international authors, um, we have books by Eric Carle. So, isa ito sa mga books na meron kami, ang Pancake Pancakes. Uh, ito, I think, sa warehouse sale ko rin ito nabili. Pero available naman siya sa Fully Book, sa National Bookstore, meron din yung bibili yan. And then, classic books from the Before Five in a Row. If you can find a list of that, meron kami mga ganong books. Katulad na itong Runaway Bunny. Meron kami uh, Corduroy. So, ayan, may mga classic books kami. From the BFI ARN 5 in a row list. So, like, 
caps for sale. Yan. So, meron kami, marami kami. Hindi ko kain lagi dito lahat kasi marami siya sa shelf. And then, we also have, ah, uh, eto, dalawa pa lang. Actually, meron ako nitong iba. For some reason, napamigay ko sila. <laughs> eto, eto naman, um, Beatrix Potter uh, hooks na meron ako. mag a pa ako dyan. I still have two books that are in transit na in order ko na napaparating pa lang. Uh, hopefully, makuha ko siya this week kasi we will start our official homeschool year next week on the 27th. And then, for our read alouds, we will be reading this Winnie the Pooh book. Ito naman based on the recommended books to read uh, by Charlotte Mason. Uh, enthusiast. Ayan, so ito. So, we need the book, pati mga Beatrix Potter. Ayan. So, yun. Meron akong ganung books para sa aming read alouds. We are incorporating more Charlotte Mason uh, methods in our homeschool year of 2020-2021. So, isa doon ay ang memory verse. So, eto, this one, nag-start na kami kanina, pero I'm not requiring my kinder to memorize yet. So, binabasa ko lang sa kanya, si kuya na grade for you na required. So, I have here, may lalagyan of the verses. Uh, I got here, the ABC scriptures. It's a free printable from www.icanteachmychild.com. Ayan, sa nakikita so, ito yung muna yung gagamitin namin na mga scriptures na memorize So, siguro sa aking kinder, um, ang memorization na lang muna namin are on nursery rhymes. Kasi na-enjoy niya yung pagkanta ng mga nursery rhymes, nursery songs. So, doon muna kami. Mag-start kami doon sa memorizing ng mga lyrics ng mga kanta. So, at least, diba, music appreciation na and, ano pa, memory work pa siya. <laughs> and then lastly, we will be using this uh, daily kindergarten uh, notebook ko for her. And so, um, ito naman, karamihan ng mga kinamit ko dito are from uh, teachers, pay teachers. Some are free, some are purchased around ten dollars siguro or so. Ito, nilagyan ko siya na lalagyan dito para dito ko ilalagay ko ano man yung mga materials na nadatatita. Ayan o. Oh. Or kailangan ko tanggalin, palitan, andyan lang siya. Ah, katulad ito, this one naman, um, you can use the Play-Doh to make a face. Uh, this is from JD Alvarez sa Teachers Pay Teachers. If you follow her on YouTube, meron siyang YouTube channel. This one is from workshopfun.com. So, ayan. So, kinat ko na lang. Yes, ito actually yung activity niya, cut and paste the number. So, para magamit namin yung materials, ginawa ko ganito na lang. Nalagay ko na lang siya ng Velcro. Nakalamilit yan. This one naman, uh, for matching naman ng uppercase and lowercase kasi we're still working on that. And then, here na others. Ito to. Horsheetfun.com. Libre lang to. Uh, this one, I think I purchased this naman eh. From Teachers Pay Teachers. So, meron siyang Velcro. Ito, tatanggalin mo na siya dito. Ayan. Velcro siya. Tapos, imamatch na siya dyan. I can match shapes. Then, define colors. Ganun din. Yan. Nilagay ko lang siya. This strip lang siya dito. Na velcro. Para siya na yung magmamatch to. So, we won't be doing this every day. Kung meron lang kaming uh, any activity, any day na walang maisip na activity, we can do this. Or, kapag busy ako dun sa kuya, she can work on this. Para hindi siya magulo. Yan. Match the colors. And then, writing naman dito on this part. So far, yan muna yung mga materials na gagamitin namin for teaching at the school year. 
for her kindergarten level. Um, should we add more materials or should we change anything? Siguro ipopost ko na lang muna sa social media accounts ko so you can follow me on Instagram, PetiteMama18 or uh, you can follow me on Facebook at PetiteMama. So, ito muna. So far, ito pa lang yung mga materials na meron ako that we'll be using for this school year. And I hope you will kayo. And if you did, please hit the like button. And if you questions, pa kayo, you can comment them down below. Or you can also be in my social media accounts. Because I'm really so happy to be in the comments. Sa Sorry, I didn't answer the other again. So if you want to uh, directly message me, you can message me on Facebook or on Instagram. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!